Welcome to your Inspirational Astrology Horoscope for Wednesday, November 25th, 2015. I'm Astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. What's going on, everybody? If you want to get a personal reading with me or any of my products, any of my future horoscopes or any of my classes and so forth, get it now at InclusiveAstrology.com. But before we take a look at all the planets, let's take a look at the Leo King Planet Energy Meter to understand where all the energy is for your Wednesday. And I'm sending you lots of great energy. I'm hoping that you have an awesome, wonderful hump day. And what a hump day to have because we are on a full moon on your hump day. And I am putting the energy meter at the extreme position. Whoop, 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 whoop. And when I mean whoop, 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 I really mean it. A full moon in Gemini, number one, and in Sag is a mutable full moon. We have got Mercury and Saturn squaring Neptune. So let's look at Mercury because this is a full moon in Gemini. Gemini rules Mercury. So we're emotionally trying to figure things out in our life, become aware of so many situations, become aware of where everything's going, and then guess what happens? Mercury is on top of Saturn, really trying to figure things out and make concrete rules, but this concrete is like sludge. Neptune squaring it, this adds, you know, kind of a confusion, a mysticism, an exciting, a dream. Is this all, is this all fantasy? Is this all real? And I think it's our minds trying to figure out, is this all real? Where is this ship going? In the next day, literally tomorrow, Saturn squares Neptune exactly while we're having a full moon. Is this a shipwreck? Is this the, where we're supposed to go? Is where in the heck is all this going? But you know, the positive of, of this is this is extreme excitement. And we could go anywhere. The universe is taking us on a wild ride in the wilderness. I used to love that at Disneyland, by the way. <laughs> Good ride. But at the end of the day, Mars, Venus in Libra. You know, this is a time where we're building these relationships and we're trying to understand, you know, who's on the team and who's not, where are people going? And I think a lot of this is preparing us for this storm that's coming. And I think that this full moon is the beginning of the storm. It really, you know, spirals everything up. Plus this full moon then will square Neptune. It will oppose Saturn, you know, and that is emotional growing up. There's a part of us that is learning to grow up on this full moon and have to deal with, you know, stepping over old belief structures and being a little bit more clear headed. You know, even though there's so much fog and so much about belief and so much of all over the place, the truth is that this is truly about getting your head back on straight, getting your mind clear, even though it's very hard to. And that's the grow up lesson. It's about getting your belief straight. It's about not losing yourself in your head in a wrong direction or losing yourself in such a way that your, 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 your mind and your soul is in just complete, well, distraction or emptiness sometimes. Sometimes this can be mutable signs when it changes so much. You circle around so much, it's like getting dizzy on a, on a Ferris wheel, you know, or, or uh, what was that ride that used to go around? Like a, a Gravitron, you know, it's like, and then it, when it stops, there's that moment where you're dizzy and you're feeling and you're like, where in the hell am I? And am I going to be able to walk out this thing right? So it's not like it's, you're not knowing where to go fully in life, but you have to realize that it's Gravitron time. It is Gravitron time. And when that happens, it could spin us out thinking about our life different, going in different directions. So this is a very powerful full moon and this is a full moon that more importantly is going to see where your head's at, where's your belief at, but more importantly, how misguided are you? How off target are you? And more importantly, who is in your life and which direction are you going? And with Venus opposing Uranus, this is about the, the balance between the freedom of yourself and who's in your life. And since Saturn's out of Scorpio, and now Sun and Mercury out of Scorpio, really it's not so much about a commitment, it's just whether or not you actually like the people and whether or not you want to shake these people's hands or not. Card of the day is the Four of Pentacles upright. And with the Four of Pentacles upright, you know what this is about? This is all about finding what's the best of the best and only wasting and spending your energy on the most valuable thing in your life. Sometimes it's the card of greed, but you know what it is? Is to keep our mind straight, we might need to hold on to what's important in our lives so we can 
keep our head and mind in the right place. Thank you so much for supporting me. If you want to join me on my app, get it on the Leo King on the Apple iPhone store, or you can get it at the Android store as well. Thank you so much for all your support, and I will see you tomorrow.